From hard beginnings, coming up in Richmond Housing Project, and through a career marked by accomplishment, Gary McCullum has never lost sight of the gifts he has been given. You know, just growing up in, uh, you know, in the inner city in a housing project with not a whole lot, you kind of made your entertainment. And, and the nice thing about what happened to me is that I was introduced to sports at a very early age. It was just neat having people enter my life at the right time. And, and one of those people was Coach Adolph Powell. Brooklyn Court back in those days was rough. Rough. It was rough. But the people in those days were uh, they were more together than they are now. In other words, they looked out for each other. After losing his mother at the age of 10, he resolved to be more serious and successful. Gary tried hard at just about everything he did. Just tried hard. In other words, he wasn't a no-nonsense person. Even at a young age, he, he focused. Gary became involved with the Boys and Girls Clubs in Richmond. As an alumnus, McCullum is still heavily involved in the organization that provided guidance and support. That's a lesson he never forgot, and it continues to pay dividends. Gary had a long history with Boys and Girls Clubs. He actually uh, grew up in a Boys and Girls Club in the Richmond area, and uh, he credits the Boys and Girls Club with some of his work ethic. He has proven that hard work can get you somewhere in life and that you can be successful if you're willing to uh, to work hard, but uh, the, the greatest thing about Gary is that he has a heart. After being the first person in his family to attend college, he served his country in the military, then joined Cox Communications and rose through the leadership ranks. Yet being named to the Virginia Cable Hall of Fame and Virginia Communications Hall of Fame are not McCollum's most lasting legacy. That is being built in the community every day. The mission of the Urban League is to empower communities and change lives. Gary has been a true blessing to the organization. Several years ago, we created a project that was based around an HBO project called The Blacklist. We created the Hampton Roads Blacklist, which was a list of uh, prominent movers and shakers in Hampton Roads who have made a difference. Gary is someone who has not forgotten. He had to struggle. And so because of those struggles, it has made him a stronger individual, but one who believes that it's important to look back and to pull someone else up. A lifelong passion for creating opportunities for youth led to creation of the Elevate Early Education, or E3 program. E3 is a venture and advocacy movement to raise the priority of early childhood education in Virginia. 90% of a child's brain is developed before the age of five. We have a window of opportunity to pre prepare our children for success academically and later on in life. McCollum's perspective is that changing the way we prepare children for life at the time when they are most impressionable is the right thing to do and makes good business sense. The new E3 school is a demonstration model to prove that when you have the infusion of quality, kids enter kindergarten more prepared and then we're going to track them to third grade to show that that, can, that investment continues to pay off. The E3 school is part of a vision for the future. To help Virginia Beach envision its future, McCullum co-chairs the Envision Virginia Beach 2040 Committee, a group of community leaders tasked with creating a vision for what the city will look like in 30 years. Whenever you do anything, you've got to have the right leadership. And I was fortunate enough to go to Gary and to John Malman and say, folks, this is about our city's future. Would you take this on and co-chair it? They both agreed to do it. And I could not have had two finer leaders anywhere in Hampton Roads uh, to take on this task. And uh, they, they did it clearly because they love their community. I think what I've tried to do is uh, do those things that are going to help those around me. And I think that's what leadership has to do. Leadership has to encourage, uh, it has to challenge, um, and, uh, and, and that's what I've tried to do. That's what people did for me. Congratulations, Gary. You're truly one of the most dedicated people I've had the pleasure to work with. And your commitment to your community and helping young people reach their full potential is a testament to your character. 
Thank you for making the time to reach back. That is true stewardship and that is true service. I love your passion to improve the lives of so many. Again, congratulations on a well-deserved honor.